Sprinter based in the United States of America, who is quite a familiar sight in the Diamond League second. The 200 meter special leader, he is at the back. Jesse number 377, Fambule. Really good athlete. So perhaps the Liberians will fancy their chances of joining their lady would. counterparts in they the final would. of this 4 by 100 meter race. They definitely would. And uh, I think it's only right for anyone to presume that he will be running that ankle leg. There he is. No doubt. He will be running the ankle <laughs> leg from Boulay. This is uh, Ghana is uh, Solomon Hammond, and this is Edwin Gadai. He's going to run the bend. And uh, as Matisse is going for the ankle, no dual pole. That's a big surprise. Yeah. Not sure. Usually, that's the case unless they were saving him for the preliminaries. I think for the Ghanaians, the, the defending champion. It's going to be Ganabas again to uh, scare them off. And that is a uh, 100 meter finalist. Benjamin there there, 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 there will be pressure on uh, Benjamin Azamati who will be running the ankle leg for Ghana. Um, he's a poster boy of the athletics team and many expected that he would at least pick a medal in the, four, in the men's 100 meters race, which he didn't. And he'll be looking to make amends. But this looks like a very open contest. It is. I mean, you I can think never it's definitely going to be between Cote d'Ivoire, Ghana, and Liberia. This. Zimbabwe, as I say, in there. So, as a matter is part of Ghana's uh, national record uh, setting team of the relay. They broke the national record. It was part of the quartet that won gold uh, five years ago, by the way. In Rabat, yeah. In Rabat, at the time, he was only a student at this very university where this stadium is located. Solomon Hammond uh, competes in the United States as well. Another student is going to be running, I believe, the back straight, which is where Azamati has run in the past. He was always a constant feature in the back straight with Joe Paul. Well, I think Joe Paul is in there. That's him. He's going to run the, the ankle leg. So the confusion has been cleared now. Certainly, that's how the arrangement will go. Azamati will it run his like back straight, as he always does. So that's the lineup as a tried and tested lineup. It's, it is. Know, it's quite pleasing to see Ethiopia in these sprints and the diversification of, you know, the races that most people know them to be running. This is a big moment. Yes. Mr. Bullies. I think uh, for the home crowd. Yeah, that's the young colleague. Fambule against Joe Paul Amor. That will be some race to look forward to. Uh, Solomon Hammond there. The Ghanaian looks, looks like he would be running the burned and there's a Mati back straight. And... Uh, Edwin Gadayi will start for the home team, Ghana. We are ready for the third and final heat. And there they go. The third and final heat. Look at that. It's uh, Zimbabwe going really strongly. That's a great, great start from the Zimbabweans. The Ghanaians are already behind. It's Azamati against his Zimbabwean compatriot. As they go through the bend, it's Solomon Hammond who will take over from Benjamin Azamati. And the Ghanaians are in the lead already. The defending champions are running really well. Joseph Paul Amor grabbed the battle. It's not a smooth changeover, but he's got it against Fambule. The 200 meter expert, both of them, but Joseph Paul Amor is flying. Looks back. It's almost so business for the Ghanaians. 38.67 seconds. That is the fastest so far in the crowd. Is absolutely buzzing. This has been a wonderful way to get the, the crowd pumped. And this is exactly what the crowd has come here for. So far, the men and women's relay team of the home country have given them everything to cheer about. And you know, Joe Paul, open sounds is I'm almost to say, Are you not entertained? Are, are you, you not entertained? entertained? Brilliant running from the Ghanaians. 
it was by no means the smoothest, especially between the third leg and the ankle leg, but he eventually got it right to stay just ahead of the Liberian team, anchored by Fambule. And they say this is their home territory. The Nigerians laid down the marker. The Ghanaians have lifted the bar. That is what it is. And uh, tomorrow's final will be something else. You don't want to miss that. If you're watching us, well, surely tomorrow's final, it's going to be mighty exciting. There's men's football to come. You can see on the right side of your screen, the Ghana against Senegal. Joe Paul Amo was almost toying with Fambule there, but Fambule would have taken notice because he will be in that final as well. Be. Well, the big, big, big surprise is the Ivorian team that will confirm their position, but it appears they did not finish the race. They dropped the baton, it looks like. Yeah, big surprise. Big surprise for the Ivorians. They were in with a shout of getting a position to qualify, and this was a faster race. And we expect the third place team to be able to make it to the final as the fastest non-automatic qualifier. But boy, Liberia has shown in both the women and men's heat. They won heat one of the women. And they will be a dangerous side to look out for in the final. But the Ghanaians have done what was expected of them. They are the defending champions. And they look like they are in no mood to relinquish that title to any other team, including the Nigerians. You know, you have to refer to the Ghanaians and say that in the last four years or five years, no other African team has run better relays than them. They have shown enormous consistency. And two members of that team, Joseph Paul Amo and Benjamin Azamati, have been ever-present. He, Joe Paul, he anchored Ghana to that gold medal five years ago in Rabat. And here he is still. He's going to be competing in the individual 200 meters himself. And he's a Commonwealth Games bronze medalist yep. in the 200 meters. So... Apart from the relay, there's still expectations on him on the individual events as well. Exactly. And this is exactly the sort of lift the Ghanaian team needed. I'm sure Azamati will be feeling very relieved that the team has been able to set the standards that they set for themselves. Yeah, they got disqualified at Commonwealth Games, which was a very, very It did, and as you mentioned, they had been there and thereabouts concerning their baton changes. So there was a lot of pressure. Yeah. But at this stage, the pressure is off. And you know what? excuse the teams for celebrating the way they are now because it means a lot to these teams to be able to advance and it's looking as if Zimbabwe may have secured one of those qualifications so uh, and slots for the fact and here's the official go. qualification. Ghana fastest in qualifying Nigeria, Liberia, Gambia, Botswana, Zambia, Zimbabwe and Kenya made it through at its two fastest losers. Cameroon like I indicated did not qualify. 100 meters gold medalist would not have the chance to anchor his team home in the 4x100 meters and Despite final. a national record from DR Congo, 40-57, they do not make the final. Cote d'Ivoire Togo did not finish and Uganda got disqualified. Such a shame. And that was because the third leg runner for Uganda overran and ran into the illegal area and so they were disqualified. But what a night we have had of racing, friends. Uh, we'll be switching to the football game shortly, but there's one more event in the evening remaining in the truck, and that is a mixed 4x400 meter relay.